are back and welcome officially to our book club. It's called The Social Chapter. Today we are discussing one of the hottest mm -hmm. books of the year. It's called Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. Uh, Jess, give us a synopsis of the novel. Okay, so celebrity bookworm Reese Witherspoon, heard of her, described this book as very sexy and very funny. And we couldn't agree more. Honey and Spice tells the story of Kiki and Malachi who wind up in a fake relationship, become friends, enemies, and lovers over the course of their time together. The book is full of delicious tension and romantic intrigue and has readers rooting for this college love story. It's okay. really lovely. I'm really curious to see uh, what you all thought of this book. And we're gonna begin by giving a rating for the book out of 100 using our literature meter. Huh? Woo! That's right, each of us are gonna have 20 seconds to talk about our rating. Mel, you're up first. What did you rate the book? Okay, I gave this book an 85 out of 100. Uh, and here's why. When we talk about diversity and inclusion, I've tried to do that a lot with my daughter's library, but I realized I haven't done it enough with my own library. Specifically this, it is me getting lost in a beautiful black love story. Mm. It is written well, it is sharp, it is sassy, and it is sexy. Go read it. Loves it, loves it, loves it. So I gave this book an 80 out of 100, and here's why. Because Kiki Banjo is my favorite kind of heroine, the smart, funny, and imperfect kind. And the romance between Kiki and Malachi was my favorite kind too, the kind with simmering tension and explosive chemistry that eventually explodes all over the page. And even though I never want to revisit college again, I almost thought about reapplying after finishing this book. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Very good. Uh, my turn. So I gave this book a 95. <laughs> This is the rom-com genre, and it's a perfect rom-com. It checks all the rom-com formulaic boxes. The only reason why I didn't give it 100 is because there's a sequel, so you want to give room for growth. But also, <laughs> um, in rom-com, you need completion. Ah, and you need yes. things to come full circle. So uh -huh. maybe the climax will be in the sequel. Ooh, oh, I hear you. The climax is in the book. Oh, well, I agree. I, yeah, oh, I hear you. I hear you. Right? Right? It's, it's, yeah, a yeah. Tease. it's a tease. Oh. I gave this book an 81 out of 100, and here's why. It was really great. The writing was clever, sharp, fresh, laden with pop culture references that I really appreciated. Beyond that, the romantic tension between Kiki and Malachi was both sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. The only complaint I had that I found it a teeny bit too long towards the end. Regardless, this is a delicious delicious read worth savoring. Ooh, yes. love it. Honey and spice, love real nice. That. Mm. So audience, because we always tell you what books we're gonna read and you read along with us and your average rating for all the audience members at home who read this was 70. Wow, I'm on shocked. Let me, interesting, Yeah, right? interesting. Okay, okay. okay, I can totally see this book playing out on our TV screen, so let's give it the casting treatment. Who would you want to play Kiki and who would you want to play Malachi? Okay, um, I'm going with Tuso Mbedu uh, from the currently playing uh, Woman King in theaters right now, mm. and Martin's M. Hangbe uh, from Bridgerton. He's the bartender boss. Yes! Yes. Bridgerton. Oh, oh my God, God. that's yes. great. Yes. Oh my God, that's very good casting. So I chose um, the girl from Little Mermaid. Halle Bailey. Halle Bailey, and uh, for, for Kiki, and I found uh, Malachi Stefan James, Canadian yes, boy. Canadian. Yes, Canadian! Oh, that's good casting. So uh, for Kiki, I went with Marci Martin from Blackish, and also uh, Cynthia. We thought of the oh same. Oh my God! Spiral boy, yeah. Stefan James. Yeah. 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 I love it. I, for Kiki, she has like this razor sharp tongue. So I went with Ziwei, who also Z -way. has a razor yeah. sharp tongue. She's so so funny. And for Malachi, I went with uh, John Boyega because. I bet underneath that Stormtrooper suit, you know, he's got a little spice oh, and yeah. something nice. Oh, yeah. 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 So this is a love that is sweet and spicy. It's honey and spice, so it's only fitting that we play a game that lifts the lid on the two biggest themes in this book, romance and relationships. We each have a spicy mocktail here in front of us. Uh, let's do a quick game of rapid fire. Never have I ever. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so if you've woo! done something, you must take a sip of spice. If you haven't, then you're sweet like honey. Oh, right? Okay. Right? okay. okay. So uh, first up, never have I ever looked up an ex on social media. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who hasn't? Uh -huh. Never have yeah. I ever Ooh. said I love you when I didn't mean it. Um, 
Ooh. I don't think I have. I don't actually know if I have either. Oh Our my do- gosh, we're such nice ladies. We are nice ladies. <laughs> I don't think I have. Uh, never have I ever stood someone up on a date. I haven't done that never. before. You done that? Oh. <laughs> never have I ever kissed a celebrity. There's got to be stories oh my gosh, here. Oh, you're talking about me. It doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're, uh, we're going to leave that. There are more questions to follow. Yes. It is time to reveal our next social chapter. Rita, as voted by you, our viewers at home, our mm. next social chapter selection is... <laughs> it's making a scene. This is one of the most anticipated memoirs of the year. Constance Wu gives us an all-access pass to life behind the scenes in Hollywood. It is really full of stories about everything from growing up as one of the few Asian students in her hometown to her struggle with mental health, sexual assault, and the repercussions of a very famous Twitter scandal. So really going to be good. Yeah. So we at home want you to read along with us and engage with us on social media as you are reading along. So use the hashtag the social chapter to join along. And good news for our studio audience, you're going home with the book today. Cheers, everybody. We'll be back right after this. Hey there. Wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now. Like and subscribe.